Namaste and welcome to the Festival of Bharat. As you are aware, we host conversations that resonate with the idea, the philosophy and the spirit that is Bharat. Our discussions revive the ancient methods of civilized debate and discussion or vaad and samvaad as we would call it. During the course of our conversations, many of which are introspective, we delve deeper into the reasons of how Bharat of our ancestors became the India that we know today. And today's interaction is one such. During my work in the developmental space as a grassroots social worker, my team and I often came across issues and situations where we clearly saw that the ground reality was vastly different and many times completely opposite of what is presented as a narrative in mainstream media. Today's discussion is about the inside story of how a narrative gets built and communicated, often with a pre-decided agenda, and more importantly, how qualitative research plays a role in putting this false narrative out there. To help us understand this better, we have a special guest who's an expert in qualitative research, Dr. Sarita Sheshagiri. Let me introduce our guest. Dr. Sarita Sheshagiri holds a doctorate in political science from the National University of Singapore. She has a master's in political science from Jawaharlal Nehru University, a bachelor's in history from Lady Sri Ram College, New Delhi. After her doctorate, she joined some of the leading multinationals in mobile technology as a user experience researcher in their research divisions. She has been a visiting faculty at the International Institute of Information Technology in Bengaluru. She has held several workshops on research methods and qualitative field immersions in institutes such as National Institute of Design in Ahmedabad, Indian Institute of Technology in Bahati, Maharashtra Institute of Technology in Pune, and International Institute of Information Technology, to name a few. Dr. Sheshagiri has presented papers in leading conferences on human computer interaction, user behavior, and social technology. Sarita ji, welcome to the Festival of Bharat. Namaste, and thank you for having me over. Sarita ji, the first question is in the context of how a narrative gets built, can you help us understand? What is qualitative research and how does it play a role in this? Right. So that's a very uh, uh, fundamental question that uh, all of us uh, need to understand. The thing is, um, qualitative uh, field studies and social science research have almost become synonymous with each other today. So one of the reasons is that most social science branches occupy themselves with the study of people, their systems of interacting uh, with each other and creating outcomes for one another. So to this end, uh, study methods that are conducive for um, understanding uh, uh, people, for the researchers to easily intermingle with the respondents is adopted. And uh, qualitative field studies typically enable field immersions uh, to study people and to gather uh, information about the people and understand them in their natural setting. So it involves direct, typically uh, direct face-to-face, -face, um, especially ethnographic methods, uh, which are qualitative in nature, uh, require face-to-face -face interactions with the respondents, between the researchers and the respondents. And uh, it enables data gathering to be contextually proximate uh, to the people or the phenomenon that's being studied. Um, and Qualitative uh, ethnographic field research, if I may say so, uh, by that virtue is said to be closer to the truth than other methods. Um, now, it is uh, important to understand uh, social phenomena, uh, both in terms of the uh, behavioral and emotional characteristics, and that cannot be understood by quantitative methods, which is all about 
uh, quantifying data, whereas qualitative data will really give you the uh, the whys, whereofs, and the context of uh, data of uh, how people. Uh, behave with each other, the kind of decisions they take uh, uh, for each other and for themselves. So the goal of qualitative ethnographic study is really to um, gain descriptors that will help to identify the drivers and the triggers that influence people's decision making, both as individuals and as groups. So um, this is really apt to gain uh, dense information and to make data points really vivid and clear. So that's where qualitative uh, research comes in. And it makes it attractive to most, uh, most researchers because it uh, uh, provides the opportunity for researchers to interact with respondents over a long period of time. And that is essential in uh, ethnographic studies, uh, which is what qualitative uh, research provides. The other thing I would like to say is uh, to have this sort of an interaction between the respondents and the researchers, uh, it requires a, a lot of expertise in being able to immerse one's, oneself in the context of the users, in the context of the people. And for that reason, what it also needs is an apprenticeship or a mentor-mentee sort of a collaboration uh, between the, uh, uh, you know, the, the person who is learning, understanding, uh, learning to do the qualitative research and the one who is the mentor. So in that sense, what can happen is that a mentor-mentee sort of uh, uh, a relationship can lead to adherence of some kind of specific theoretical constructs or biases that can get carried over from the mentor to the mentee in the course of time. Uh, so that's the answer to the question. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.